Hey guys, it's Fez from Bitcoin for Beginners. Welcome to episode number five of Reddit's Gems. This episode we're going to be talking about Zillica. Now before we get stuck into that, I just wanted to give a massive shout out to you guys. You know, everyone that likes and has subscribed to the YouTube channel, anyone that takes the time to comment, and everyone that's a member of the community. If it wasn't for you guys, we wouldn't have the channel. So massive shout out to you guys. Well done and keep coming back. Okay, so what is Zillica? Well, basically, it's a high throughput blockchain. This means that they are focusing more on transactions per second than anything else. It's all about getting as, as much information through the blockchain as they possibly can. They're going to be implementing this by using sharding. On their testnet, they've currently got 2,488 transactions per second, and they're achieving this with six shards and 3,600 notes. Now, for those of you that don't know what sharding is, to put it simply, it's taking the network and uh, breaking it up into small groups. These groups are called shards. So if you had 100 computers, you could break them up into 10 groups of 10. So that would be 10 shards. And each shard would then be processing their own transactions. These are referred to as microtransactions. And once everybody's achieved their microtransactions, then all of those are put together to form a normal block, which is then added on to the blockchain. And this results in a, in a high throughput and transaction speed, like I mentioned earlier, 2,488. Now, when you compare that to Bitcoin, which has on average seven transactions per second, Ethereum, which averages between 10 and 15, and Visa, which is between six to 8,000 transactions per second, you know, we, we are approaching Visa level. And the more computers that join the network, the more shards we have, and the more nodes, which means the more transactions per second. Potential use cases for this blockchain are industries that require a high throughput. So that's payment network systems, that's advertising where you know we're sending cookies backwards and forwards and, and advertisement data is following people around on the internet, as well as scientific computing where you know there is a constant stream of information being fired backwards and forwards. There are quite a few more potential use cases, but I, you know, I don't need to list them all. We have Skiller, which is their programming language for smart contracts. This is supposedly more secure and thorough than other programming languages. I have no idea. I'm not a programmer. I don't know anything about the language. So we'll just have to take their word for it. Mainnet is coming in quarter three, 2018. Now, this means they will be you know, fully moved over onto their own blockchain, which is very exciting because we'll, we will find out how close they are to achieving these transaction speeds that they promise. Also, from an investor's point of view, you know, if we look at other tokens that have launched their own mainnet or approach in their own mainnet, there's a lot of hype and a lot of price activity going on. So that's something to watch. Obviously, I do have to say I am not financial advisor. This is not financial advice. This video is purely for entertainment purposes. So don't come after me if you lose money. It's not my fault. So after that little brief disclaimer, we're going to move over onto Reddit and see what people have got to say on Reddit because that's what this video is all about. So the first comment I've pulled up is from Kim Kipling 21. This is from a post that's asking, you know, why is Zillica different? What makes it different to other blockchains that are out there? doesn't really have anything I haven't mentioned. Well, there's a couple of little bits actually, but nothing major that I've not mentioned. And I just like the way that it's put, you know, it, it's not pure shilling. It's a reasonable point of view that's been expressed well. So well done, Kim Kipling 21. The first thing they point out is the fact that the team primarily made up of scientists. They, you know, quite a few people with PhDs attached to the name venture capitalists and supposedly world-class marketing professionals. Now, I don't know if anybody else knows anything about Zillica, but there's not a huge marketing push out where it seems to me like the team's more focused on, on getting the product right. 
before they start pushing any marketing. So I, I doubt whether it's world-class marketing professionals. A collaboration with MindshareWorld.com. Go and check them out. You know, investigate that a little bit more. Humbleness, integrity, no loudspeakers, no Lambos, no bullshit, which is always nice in a project. Do, do, do. Yes, yeah, so that's it. You know, I just really like the way the point of view was expressed. It's very short, concise, to the point. So brilliant. Uh, then we have Tech Terror, who talks about sharding and other blockchains that are trying to achieve the same thing, but in different ways. We've got Lightning, Raiden, and Trinity. And Tech Terror goes on to point out that these are all off-chain scaling solutions, whereas Zilliqa is on-chain or parallel. It grows exponentially as the network grows. I can't remember who this was from. I've just taken a snippet as a screenshot. I like how we've got some neutrals and a negative point as well, rather than just your, your standard shilling. Neutral point being that the smart contracts may be limited due to the programming language being data flow based and not Turing complete. Yes, this could be an issue or will be an issue to start off with, but I think if, if the team notice that they are missing out on things or they've missed a niche, then they will do their best to, to find a solution to this. So it's a case of watch this space. Negatives, sharding drawback to run a full node requires terabytes of data. Yeah, I mean, if this is the case, this could lead to centralization of the network. Because terabytes, although, yes, we've all probably got a terabyte hard drive in our laptops, you know, to have several of them on a standalone, you know, server or something to, to run is costly, may get used by, you know, corporate entities more so than, than the average Joe like me or you, which will, would lead to some form of centralization of the network. Um, memes, everybody loves memes. My favorite is the nice sharding with Vitalik. I just had to throw these in there. These made me chuckle whilst I was doing my research. So big shout out to the guys that put these together. And it's a nice little note to end on. So hopefully you've enjoyed this video. Hopefully it's not been too boring. Do some research. Have a look into Zilliqa. Have a look at Reddit. You know, go to Crypto Panic. Find out some previous news. Pay attention to its charts. Yeah, watch this space. So I've been Fez. This is Bitcoin for Beginners. Thanks very much.